Hey everybody, Spurgle here, and welcome to my Beginner Basics Modding Daisy Tutorials. Episode 4, Retexturing Items, Color Bases, and Hidden Selections. So for this episode, you're going to need Eliteness from Makiro Tools. It's a handy bit of software which will allow you to view certain aspects of the Byronized vanilla models. If you don't have them installed already, click the link in the description, go download, and run the .exes for each tool. You'll only need the free version, so don't worry about the paid versions. Okay, now that's out of the way, let's get started on retexturing items properly. So for today's video, I'm going to use three vanilla items for examples. The teddy bear for an example of an item with a color base and a hidden selection ready for easy retextures. The second is the first aid kit with no color base but still has its hidden selection in the model.cfg. And the third is the nylon knife sheath with no hidden selections and cannot be retextured. I'll start with the teddy bear as it's the simplest of them all. First you're going to want to find the teddy bear's config and its texture inside the vanilla files. So daisy gear containers data you will find teddy bear. Open up one of the vanilla textures with text view there you go, that is the vanilla texture. Save this as a TGA or a PNG and edit it in your chosen software. I personally use GIMP and here's the texture that I already made earlier. Once you've made your edit, save it as a backup somewhere. And go back to your mod folder and create a data folder. Already inside my data folder is my teddy bear edited texture. You're also going to want to find the config that relates to the teddy bear. So open it up, notepad++, plus plus, do a quick search for bear, and there we go. We have the base class of the teddy bear. And inside this color base, you will see there is already hidden selections. And in this bear's case, it is just camo ground. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see the children of the base class, the different colors, and each one of them has a hidden selection texture, which defines the path to their texture. So if we simply copy out this child class, and paste it inside our config.cpp, not forgetting to add the parent class, which in this one's case is bear color base. Rename the child to our bear black and change this file path to our data file, which in our case is beginner basics or backslash data backslash teddy bear double check that's correct so we have beginner basics data teddy bear black okay we've got a capital B and a capital D where we don't need one I'm not sure if that matters but I'll make sure it all matches and that is the config for that bear set up we need to make a script for the bear so let's remove these comments so our script folders get registered and then go back to our beginner basics folder and create a script folder. Inside your script folder, you're going to want a four world folder. This is because we're finding in the daisy files, scripts, four world, entities, item base, container base. And inside there we have the bare color base. There we go, this is the, the script that registers the base bear, its script aspects, and then the children of the bear. So we're going to want to copy that, and as you'll see, inside the beginner's basic scripts, for world, item base, I have created a, a .c called modded items. In there, I have already registered bear, black, extends, 
bare color base. So with that done, we can click save on our config.cpp. We would have successfully retextured this black bear. Now before we pack and test this black bear, let's have a look at the second item I mentioned, which is the first aid kit, which has no color base. Now back to our containers, config.cpp, and find your entry for the first aid kit. Now in here, you'll see that there is no hidden selection. Now if an item has no hidden selection, first thing you want to do is find the item. So in this case, it's not in data, it's in gear containers. First aid kit. And open it with eliteness. And then you'll see the model config over here on the right. And the res lods over here on the left. In the res lods, you've got your name selection, which in this case is Zybetech, and it tallies up with the sections in the model config, which again is Zybetech. So let's take that selection, minimize eliteness for now, go back to our model config. We've already got the entry for the first aid kit, so let's add hidden cell. Action. Paste that in Zybetech. We also now want to create a child of our parent with its hidden selection to define the hidden selection texture for our retextured first aid kit black to the child of first aid kit. We'll add a simple scope and hidden selection textures. Make sure that's renamed the same. Not kit kit, first aid kit, underscore black, underscore co. This will be the same as our first aid kit black texture that we created earlier. Don't forget to add in the script entry for the first aid kit black, first aid kit. Save both your dot C and your .cpp, double check your texture paths are correct, and you can pack your mod, and test it. Before we go into a proper test, let's open up Eliteness, navigate to the nylon knife sheath inside characters, belts, just have a quick look at that. You'll notice the res lods have camo defined as a name selection, but there is no model config. Without a model config with the name selection defined as the section in it, you cannot define a hidden selection in your config.cpp and you cannot retexture the item. If you come across this in any other items, you, you won't be able to retexture them. You'll need to get a custom model made and retexture that instead. So, our mod is packed. Let's launch our server, launch Daisy, and give them a quick test. Once you've loaded in your test server, use your admin tools to search for your new items, double check that everything has worked. One black first aid kit, and one black teddy bear. Just as a quick summary to round up the video, 
we have retextured a vanilla item that has a color base and hidden selections already defined in its configs.cpp. We have retextured an item that has no hidden selections defined, but we use the leetness to find the section in the model config and define it. And we have looked at the knife sheath, which has no model config, no section, no hidden selection, and cannot be retextured. Thanks for watching, and in the next video, we'll cover signing your mod with private public keys publishing it on the Steam Workshop.